What is up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Moabi and today we are going to be joining our Windows 10 machine to our domain. So after setting up your Active Directory environment, you can now join clients or users to your Active Directory. When joining a computer to the domain, that client will have access to resources within the domain. Please note that there are versions of Windows that support domain joining such as Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Enterprise and Windows 10 Education Edition. But there is one Windows version that does not support domain joining, which is Windows 10 Home Edition. So just make sure that the version you have installed is Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise or Windows 10 Education Edition and not Windows 10 Home Edition. So to join a computer to the domain, make sure that you're logged in as the local administrator for that Windows 10 machine. Another thing to take note of before we get started, you have to know the name of your domain. Make sure you have created an Active Directory user account to be used on the Windows 10 computer of which I showed you in the previous video. Your Windows 10 computer must be within 5 minutes of the domain controller's time which means that your Windows 10 computer must be in the same time zone as your Windows server. Your computer should be connected to the local network in order to reach the local DNS server for name resolution and Active Directory domain controller. And lastly, make sure that the IP address is obtained automatically from your DHCP server. For more information on DHCP configuration and also how to create users, groups and organizational units in Active Directory, check out my previous videos by clicking the links below. Now, let's continue with the video. So first, open your command prompt. I am just going to click on the start menu and then I'm going to type in command. That should find a command prompt application for me. So click that. This will open up your command prompt. So in your command prompt, we want to test if our Windows 10 machine can resolve our domain name and if it can communicate with our DNS server. So type in ping followed by your domain name, then press enter. After you press enter, you should get a reply from your Active Directory domain server. So in this case, I can see the IP address of my Active Directory domain server. We can confirm that our Windows 10 computer can resolve the DNS name to its IP address and it can communicate with the domain controller. So I'm going to close the command prompt. And now that we can confirm that our server and our computer can communicate, now we just have to join this computer to the domain. So normally before we join a computer to a domain, I prefer that you change the name of the computer so that you can identify the computer in your Active Directory. So to change the name of your computer, click on the start menu, then click settings. Now in your settings, click on system, scroll down and then look for about. After you click about, you should see the button rename this PC. And then I'm going to give my computer a name. I'm going to name my computer Home VM1. Please note that when you're giving your computer a name, you are not allowed to use special characters. You are not allowed to have spaces between your name. So just make sure it's a one word and you can include the following combinations such as letters, hyphens and numbers. But anything outside of this scope will not be accepted. So once you give your computer a name, click on next. Now you will get a warning that says after you restart, your PC name will change to home VM one. So I want to do that now. Let's click on restart now. Wait for the computer to restart. And then after that, we will join our computer to our domain. All right, guys, after the computer restarts, now let's confirm if our name has changed. So click on your start menu, click on settings. Now click on system. Now scroll down and click the button about. And then if you look at your device specifications, underneath you will see device name home VM one. So our name change for our computer has taken place successfully. And now let's join this computer to our domain. So I'm going to click on home. And now in your home screen, click on accounts. Look for access work or school. Click on that. After you click the access work or school button, click on connect. After you click connect, you will see a Microsoft account dialog window. And in this window, we are not going to be using an email address to connect to our domain. But instead, 
we are going to click on the button that says join this device to the local Active Directory domain. So click on that. And now enter the name of your domain. And then press next. After you press next, a Windows security pop-up window shows up. We need to enter our domain administrator credentials. So I'm going to enter my details below, then the password, then press OK. In this window, we are not going to configure anything as we will be using users that we create from our Active Directory server. So click on Skip. And now you get a warning that says Restart your PC. After you restart, your PC will be joined to this domain, Tech Tips with Moabi. I'm going to click on Restart now so that the changes can take place. Now, after we restart, let's click anywhere on our screen. We should be able to see admin and other user. So instead of our computer going directly into our local account, now we are on our login screen. And on the login screen, I'm going to click on other user. Now in other user, for the username, enter administrator, followed by at and the name of your domain. Then enter your password. And if you take note below, you will see sign into techtipswithmoabi.com. And if I press enter, this computer will use the administrator account from my domain. So I'm going to click enter. This process is just setting up your domain administrator account for this machine. And now that our account has finished setting up, let's click on start. Then click on settings so that we can confirm if this computer is joined successfully to the domain or not. And then click on accounts. Under accounts, I should be able to see tech tips with moi backward slash administrator. That is the current account that I'm using for this machine. But I want us to go to the access work or school button. Under access work or school, you will see connected to tech tips with moi ad domain. So like I said in my previous videos, the reason why my name could not be typed in full is that I had already exceeded the number of characters that were allowed for me to rename my domain. But underneath, you will see techtipswithmoabi.com. So, so far, that means this computer has successfully joined our domain. Now, before I end the video, I just want us to check one more thing in our server. So, let's jump into our Active Directory domain server. Alrighty guys, now I have logged into my server. I'm going to click on the Start menu, then click Server Manager. Now, I want us to have a look at how Active Directory Domain Services has processed the computer or the user that you have just joined to our domain. So click on Tools, then click Active Directory Users and Computers. Now, once your Active Directory Users and Computers snap-in opens up, click on your domain name. Then we are going to focus on the Computers container. So click on Computers. Under Computers, we should be able to see our Windows 10 computer. If you take note, this is the name that I gave my virtual machine. And if you right click and then click on properties, you will see more details about your computer, such as the DNS name, which is homevm1.techtipswithmoabi.com. And if I click on operating system, I should be able to see Windows 10 Pro. If you installed a different version, instead of Windows 10 Pro, you should be able to see that version written here. So I'm going to click on OK. And now I can confirm that our computer is joined to our domain. And that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to rename your computer before joining a domain, how to check if your computer can communicate with your DNS server and your Active Directory domain controller, and lastly, a step-by-step -step procedure of how to join a computer to a domain and the changes that take place in your Active Directory once you join that computer to the domain. I hope this video was informative for you. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit the like button and also click on the share button to share the video with a friend or two. And lastly, 
click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I post and I will see you guys on the next video. Remember, each one, teach one.